welcome back to the channel so back in the garage it's starting to warm up a little bit so um i want to come work in my garage a little bit more of course this is something i wanted to uh share with you guys that i started building last year um this was a bowl for olivia now i made it out of red oak just like my last one and right now what's it pulling it's pulling I think 25 pounds at 20 inches which is still a little stiff for Olivia so I want to reduce the weight in this quite a bit I don't know really how thin I can go without it before it breaks but I guess we're gonna find out um, as you can see I put a shelf in there um, right I got most of the shape already it's actually bending pretty nice um, I do have a stiff spot in here i know that i need to work on uh, right now my tillering tree my uh my cord is underwater and stuff so i'm gonna have to make a new cord with a pole for uh, the tillering tree but for right now i'm just gonna work on shaving down some layers um and just see if we could reduce the draw weight of this uh, i've been on the fence if i'm gonna do a start to finish build videos on one of my bows uh who knows might do it i have a bunch of like here i'll show you guys I have a bunch of staves just drying all up in there uh, and up over there. And then I got, I think more up, yeah, more up here. So that's a lot of the wood I collected last year. So I can actually make a bow from a piece of wood that I collected myself, which is freaking exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get started here. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys the tilling process that I'm at right now and we're going to kind of go through it and get it down to a more workable draw weight for her. Um, I'm thinking I want to try to aim around the 15 pounds. I know that's going to make it pretty thin so yeah, fingers crossed it doesn't break. Um, and I'm really hoping that she's going to shoot this this year. Last year I got her you know moving around a little bit but uh she wasn't super keen on it, but now she's a little bit older and a lot more keen on a lot of things. So, fingers crossed. All right, let's get going. Let's get building. So, I'm just going to start with my card scraper, and we're just going to start uh, scraping some layers here. So, always count how many passes you do. You want to do even passes, unless you've got a stiff spot that you know of that you need to work on. Um, then obviously do more passes but i always do even once i get to a good tiller where it's like nice and even i just do even passes both sides Put that on the outside yeah. and you clip it in like this, all right? Oh, yeah. So, do you remember how to hold it? Yep, here. So, you put that hand there, right? Now, this. Oh, yeah, and remember, we'll tilt it just a little bit so the arrow stays. Nice <laughs> shot. That's that, everyone. Yeah, you want to go for another one? One more shot, okay? Okay, I'm going to show that really quick. Okay, mm. so 
Now, do you want to try to put it on yourself? Yep. Okay, so flip it around. Flip, no, flip it up. Just flip. Oh, oh, yeah, so this yeah, part yeah. always goes <laughs> forward, right? <laughs> yeah, right there. And what color it goes out? This one. No, brown. Brown goes out. Oh, brown goes out. And clip it in. Okay, so, yep, put your hand there. You want to try it all by yourself? Hold on, okay, wait, just, so here, I'll give you a little hand. So you want to tilt it, the bow a little bit sideways yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, sideways, let's hold it side, a little bit sideways so you One, two, okay. one, two, three. Yeah! Oh, my kids, those! Come shoot. The arrow on? Okay, okay, okay. Which way? Brown out. Brown out. So brown up like that. And then this goes forward. Goes that way. Yep, like that. Yep, brown out. Like that. Let's put on everyone like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I didn't click it. Let me get it on like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, make sure it stays down there. What? No, we need to... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put on the towing tree. Why? But let's see what we got here. So right now, I'm drawing about 12 pounds at uh, 20 inches. But I got to check out the shape of this while drawing because I think I got a bit of a hinge. Oh, you know what? The shape's not too bad. So you'll see right here. It, there is a tiny bit of a hinge kind of developing right here. That one's not bad. So what you're looking for is a very symmetrical U-shape, right? So I'm getting close, but I wouldn't say she's perfect, that's for sure. Um, what I think I'm going to do is actually I'm going to leave this side for now. You can actually run your fingers through here and kind of use them as a bit of a caliper. And as you're... As you're tilling your bow, you wanna you wanna work it because if you don't work it, that that uh, wood's gonna develop a lot of stress. So so here, so you can see, I do have like a tiny, tiny little bit of a hinge right here. This is kind of nice. Let's go to the other side. Uh, so. So this side's not bad, but it is a little bit stiffer. So I'm just going to take a little bit more out right here and a little bit more out my tip. And then I think I'm good because I wanted to aim around uh, 10 pounds at 20 inches for her. All right, so. That's wicked. So tillering uh, kids' bows is definitely a little bit harder, especially since you're trying to get get to such a low weight and you're working with such a thin bow at this point it's actually pretty easy to screw it up and I'm definitely no professional boyer yet so this is a really my second bow so luckily I know that it's not really gonna ever overdraw this thing until she's older so hopefully it lasts for a little bit of time all right So, so yeah, if you look here, this is still sitting lower than here. So that means I'm getting more bend out of this one than this one. So now, now that I've kind of fixed that hinge, I'm just going to scrape a little bit out of here so we can get this, this up just a little bit higher. And I think that's going to be good. Oh. 
I think that's looking a lot better there. So let's check her out. I always put an arrow in, unless it's up on the tilling tree, because if this happens to, if I happen to slip, I don't want to dry fire the bow, is what it really comes down to. Okay. So, let's have a look here. So, that's looking not too bad, actually. That's looking pretty good. So... I know it's really hard to tell with this backdrop. So, and I will be building her a proper string. This is just paracord for now while I build the bow. Let's see what the final draw weight's going to be here. What do we got here? 10 pounds at 20 inches. That's exactly what we're going for. 10 pounds at 20 inches. So, Olivia. Yeah. I'm trying. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's get Olivia set up here. Hi, everyone. Oh, oh. Hold on. Okay. All right, Olivia. So, I think I got her all finished up. So, we were shooting it the other day, but it was 22 pounds. You remember that? So it was a little stiff. Now we're down to 10 pounds. All right, you want to give it a try and see how it goes? Okay, let's set up the camera here. So do you remember how to do this? Okay, so put your hand there. Put your hand on the right side. Stand sideways. And then we're going to... Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Put that right there. Okay. Stand sideways, yeah. Okay, pull back. Whoa, was that easier? Yeah? yeah. So was that better? Yeah, we almost got it. You want to try again? Yeah. Okay. You want to help me put this on? Yeah, it's all on. <sighs> now I'm not being myself. By yep. myself. Yep. Okay, now wait. We we'll stand, we'll stand properly, okay? Don't hold. Don't hold. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now... Hold the bow a little sideways. Okay, there you go. Yeah! It goes on there! So there we go. We reduced it down to 10 pounds. She seems pretty happy with that. So we're just going to, I'm just going to clean up the edges and then I'm going to put a finish on this, a couple coats, and she will be all done. Maybe make a nice string for her. Go, 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 go.